We're going to talk about things to make walls. So for example, for the maze game that we're going to start, we want to make sure that we can't get through the walls in order to find our way to the end of the maze. So in order to do that, we use something called tile maps. So I'm going to go into scene and I'm going to choose set tile map to. I'm going to put that in my on start and I'm going to click the gray box because again, that's where I draw everything. I'm going to change the size of this. Let's make it 48 by 20, whoops, by 48. There we go. Okay, so that's going to give me a larger uh, canvas to make my maze on. So in here, I've got the gallery. So I've got a whole bunch of different things that I can choose from. There's a dungeon. Uh, I'm going to start off by coloring the whole middle in. There we go. And then I'm going to make some walls. I'm going to use this line tool because if I, oh, that's that one. I want this one. Uh, if I hold the shift key down, it'll make them nice and straight for me so that, oh, that's the wrong one. Ay, ay, ay. I love making mistakes. Okay, so I have to pick the correct one for each. So here I am doing the top. Come on. Ugh being a pain. There we go. Get that one spot there. Do the other corner. I'm sorry I'm not zooming in for you guys, but I'd like to be able to see the whole canvas as I'm working. There we go. I need, can't see the bottom, so I'm going to have to use that hand to pan down a little bit. And then use the middle. Whoops. Go back to my line. Uh, and get my corner. So I want my bottom right corner. I want my bottom left corner. And then I gotta fill in those two little spots right there. Right there. Okay, right now all I have done is made the barrier. Okay? I also want to make it into a maze. So I am going to see what other options I have for lines. I can make brick walls. How cool is that? So let's do that. We're going to make some brick walls that we follow along. Have all sorts of different options. Ooh, check out all this cool stuff I've got. I've never seen all of this. Oh, they got like little stairs. Dude, how fun. All right, sorry. I get distracted easily. Okay, I'm just going to grab some stone. All right, so I'm going to make a maze. Oops. If I let go of my shift key too soon. And again, these aren't actually walls yet. These are simply just lines. I have to go in and turn them into walls. Ba -ba. Okay. So, let's see, I've done that now. Uh, make it even smaller so I can see everything. A couple more up here, I guess. Okay, so I have to turn these into walls. So if we look back over on the left hand side, if I put my mouse on this three dimensional thing, it says draw walls. I'm going to click that. Notice I have where it says show walls. It's turned on because I want you to be able to see. It's not going to turn red on the uh, in the game. 
but it is letting me see where I make walls right now. Oops. So if I want to be sneaky, I can even leave little spots where you can go through the wall where it looks like you're stuck, but you're actually not. So you can have some fun with these walls. Uh, you could even draw some imaginary walls, I suppose, if you wanted. Okay, whoops. These tile maps and walls, I think, are also going to be functioning as our platforms later on as we move down into other types of games. Again, I've got to work my way through that. All right, so we're getting there. I made this way too big, but you'll see why in a second. Yes, I know I'm being very haphazard with my walls. The other walls that I need to fix, well, that's not true yet. Okay, so now I've made my walls. I need a start. I'm going to turn that off. Whoops. Uh, I need a starting place and I need a stopping place. So where am I going to enter my maze? I'm going to pick a new type of tile. So I'm going to choose, I really kind of like this one, and I'm going to put that here, here, and here. Whoops, four of them. And then I need to pick a spot for the end. So I'm going to choose there. Oops. Get a corner one. There we go. Okay. So that's my end is on the bottom right and my start is on the top left. So I've made walls. I've made a starting point. I've made an ending point for my maze. So I'm going to click done. What you're going to notice is we're not going to see the whole game. I see the starting point. So you usually want to put your start up in the top uh, left somewhere because that's where the screen's going to default. Um, miss, you totally made so much more than that. You are very correct. So when I open this, that's all I see right now. Uh, I have to make it so that the camera follows the sprite that I create. So let's go in and let's create our sprite. I'm just going to pick a gallery one today. And we will pick the cat. All right. There's the cat. That's my sprite. Of course, I'm going to rename my variable to cat. And then I'm going to set my cat to move with buttons. Cat. Remember, they have to match. And so right now, I can move my cat. And it can't go through the walls. OK? Oh, you know what it can go through? Oh, no, it's not going through those sides. Usually I would put walls along the perimeters also, but it seems to be stopping. And now my cat went off the screen. It's like, duh. So I need to set it so that the camera follows my sprite. Um, I use this search bar often, <laughs> and I want a camera. I want camera follow my sprite. So I'm going to have the camera follow the cat. Bum, bum. And then now when I go, you can see that the game board moves with me. Okay? That doesn't help me a lot. I want the cat to start here. So I need to make it so that the cat will start there. I'm going to go back into scene. And I'm going to choose place my sprite on top of a random. And then I get to choose what. So I'm going to place my cat. And I'm going to put it on. A, so see that it gives me... Uh, the pictures of what's in my tile map. I'm going to choose this because this is what I designated as the start. So now when I play the game, my cat's going to start along here somewhere, but it's random. I could position the cat. I could use the set the cat's position also if I always wanted it to start on this one. I just have to uh, find out what the coordinates are for that. So that's another way that you could do that. Um, and then finally, I need to make it so that when we hit down here, we win the game. So 
we are going to go back into scene and we're going to use this thing called uh, an overlap. Okay, basically that says when my sprite or my cat in this case is going to hit a certain spot, do something. And in our case, we're going to make it say that it's one. So that's on its own. Notice that that doesn't fit into the on start. That's a separate uh, thing. It's looking for that all the time. So I'm going to on sprite of kind player. Notice it says that my cat is a player. There are different types of sprites that you can put in, like enemies and, and food and things like that. We're going to leave player for right now. Here I'm going to choose my winning tiles. Ooh, I guess I'll do that one. And then I have to go in here and I have to say what's going to happen. Well, I wanted to win the game, so we're going to go into game. And we're going to choose game over because we want the game to be over. But I don't want the cat to lose. I want the cat to win. So I'm going to click win. And now when I go in here, I can play the game, make my maze. I think I made my tile walls pretty lame at the end, so I think I could just go straight down. There we go. I won. That's the end of the game. Okay. Uh, you can make your canvas larger, smaller. Um, if you want it where it just stays on that initial screen, you can keep it, I, you know, 16 by 16, but that's going to be kind of a lame maze. Uh, you won't need the camera on that. So there are other things that we can add to this, but this is basically how you create a maze game. I hope that is helpful and how you create tile maps. Alrighty.